All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf your one only. How all my adventures doing? So my next coding session is finally here. I'm sorry that I've been gone for well, I haven't been making a devlog for like I think eight days now, <laughs> maybe more, a little bit more. Uh, yesterday was like a storm, so I definitely was gonna do that just to have the have all that recording deleted or something. Power goes out or tornado hits. Yeah, you know, there was like a few like warnings and or watches, whichever one it was. So yeah, I had to had to not upload that day. <laughs> But yeah, I've just been very busy last week. Like last week was like extremely busy. Don't, hey, don't ask me. Anyhow, yeah, here's the next session. We're gonna be coding selectors inside of inside of our battle system, which means that we can select fighting moves, or we can select fight, and we can select a run. And fight will let us, you know. When we select fight, we'll be able to move around to each move and everything. First, we got to set up a lot of our dialogue for the for the game and the selectors. It took me a while to do this. <laughs> like their video is originally two hours. This video is, I think, yeah, like. 43 minutes and this is times five speed i think it's times 5.5 5 speed it and it took me that long just because i went back and checked a lot of my coding like i'm getting better at spotting which one of my codes was like wrong <laughs> which is probably not a good thing if i'm messing up so much <laughs> But no, I'm I'm honestly getting it. I, I know what I'm I'm like messing up on now. Because I've been gone so long to the point where I forgot like which code was which. Oh uh, for this area, I forgot to put Unity Engine uh, UI, so that's one reason why the script wasn't working. So I had to recheck and see what uh, game dev was doing so I could know what he was doing. I figured this one out by myself of what I was doing wrong. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, it's actually funny because now that I look at it, it was trying to tell me also that it's wrong. Okay, I, I think I actually realized that that's what it was doing. Okay, I forgot this whole session. It, this session was like two days old. <laughs> I was meaning to upload it, then I got busy on a dag day I recorded it. No, it took me longer than I needed and I had to go to sleep because I had to work. Then the next day there was like the whole storm thing. So then I had to hold it off until today. So yeah, who knows if this video will even be uploaded today. <laughs> I'm hoping so. But yeah. So now I gotta sort out all my dialogue boxes and everything. And I follow, fall into like this weird little uh, situation to where I started following Pokemon's logic out, out of sight of my own, outside of my own. Cause you, some of you guys know in the older devlogs, I, I labeled my power points as mana so for pokemon it was like pp for me it's mana i started typing in pp into my coding then i got confused why it wasn't working then i remembered and inside of my i think it was monster Grove or battle unit whichever one it was for my scripting that had it it was mana and I, my stupid self didn't realize that <laughs> so i went in and fixed that and then it started working again you guys will see that like way later on uh, i'm not going to talk for this whole video to be honest uh because i i still do have a lot of things to do so <laughs> you guys will probably get like just a little bit of a sped up situation sooner or later but i do want to thank you guys for the support it's been pretty awesome 
I also want to thank you guys for the live stream support as well. It's been pretty cool. Even though I still get a lot more interaction on Twitch than I do uh, YouTube. Which is fine. Hey, who cares? Hey, as long as you guys are chilling and enjoying yourselves on like days that I can just relax and not have to worry about anything. Because those are my work off days. Like I don't go to work those days. So I, I kind of do my hobby as soon as I get off work. And this is now my new hobby is coding and, you know, making this game. When it's my off days, I just goof around and, you know, start to play some random games, you know, and also helps me get some ideas of what I want to do for my game, which is something always great. So, as you guys can see, I, I put this as PP. I'm going to have to go in there and change this to mana. Because I don't know why I have this in here as that. I, I completely forgot my own things from my last video. <laughs> I'm still pretty sure I want to change typings to something else. I'm just not too sure of like each one I want to change it to. This code list is going to be pretty long. Just as long as the other ones are. I'm thinking once I get done with um, coding everything myself, well, coding all the things I learned from this video, I'm going to probably hire somebody to do the most of more advanced coding. I, I think I've talked about this before. I'm not too sure if I have talked about it. But yeah. If any other like really advanced codings come into play, I'm going to try and get, you know, someone who knows better than me to at least do a few lines inside of Fiverr. This is considering like, as like I said, this is a Fiverr project. I go to Fiverr and hire people to do some stuff for the game, like music, art. And if you guys have not been checking out uh, Mono Studios, who's been making a lot of my art, uh, you know what? I, I could just show. I could just show their uh, their page here. Cause I have been using them a lot. They have been making a lot of my Monster Girls, and they'll basically give me more concepts for future characters in the game. And I plan on working with them quite a lot. Yeah, this is Mono Art Studio. If you guys have not like tried these guys out, like they do chibi art as well now. This is like the newest thing I've seen them do. I don't think I've seen, maybe this one's new too? But I know for sure this one's new. And I, I'm thinking about getting a few chibis done. And maybe later on in the future, once I get all three starter monster girls done, I might, there's a slight chance I might do a Patreon because a few people, few, just like a small few, have been asking if I was going to make a Patreon to, you know, support the game a lot better. I'm not sure. I might. It'll probably be like, if I do, it'll probably be like January or February, or at least until I'm actually feeling comfortable to do something like that. I want to actually like show a product. And, you know, have people be able to test, you know, test into it instead of just giving them images like, hey, this here, this is here. You know, I, I want to give them some type of like test product around that point. But who knows? It, it, it could happen. It couldn't. Who, who knows? It, it will save a lot of money for me because, you know, I can be able to like... <laughs> For example, move the fuck out of this house and just be on my own. You guys won't hear a screaming, screaming like child in the background. <laughs> or, or I can start saving up for a second PC, which I've been doing, but also also creating this game does not help on that too. <laughs> so I can have separate money for the game, which is be Patreon money. And I can just make my own money, which would be my job money. I can start saving that up. 
So, yeah. That would be the plan if I did make a pager. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of just like, meh. Alright, so, a lot of the coding, coding is going to be very long and tedious. You guys are going to be mostly seeing me inside of the coding list this time instead of like moving stuff around or adding a few things. It's mostly just because we're coding the selector and I've realized coding selectors is not easy <laughs> because there's a lot of little little functions that you do have to do and I've started learning like what each code does because well I'm trying to learn like what each line of code does just so I can be better off on my own instead of following tutorials. That's what I want to do. So I've been looking up a lot of line of code videos that explain what each code does and stuff like that. And I've casually been looking on Google for more coding and stuff like that. And I think about joining like forums for like Unity devs. Get some advice from them. The only video I know game dev doesn't have is is abilities or passive stuff like that. I f I feel like that's more of an advanced task <laughs> that I have to figure out on my own, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Cause I, I I thought that would be a main thing because Pokemon's always have like these weird passive abilities. I thought he would at least give like a setup for it, you know? It's just like a setup, put your codes in, code it and throw it in there and attach it to like any of the girl like Pokemon or Monster Girls, whichever one. That would have been cool, fantastic, but no, nah, he it doesn't seem like he made a video like that. He did make status effects, which was fantastic. I at least am going to know how to do that in the future. So I think the next devlog is mostly going to be focused on um, making the actions come true, you know, actually dealing the moves damage and stuff like that, which is going to be even more interesting to see how that all works out. Because I do want to like hire like somebody to make animations too. It's, it's not going to be like, you know, over the top, you know, I, I'll slowly work through the game, you know, upgrade it and everything. Then you'll see like better, like quality moves. But like I said, basic game first, polishing later. <laughs> I still have like a lot of placeholders that I'm planning on moving. I still need to hire somebody. We'll find somebody on Fiverr who has like a a skill I'm looking for in making like cool UI. I have people for sprites and I have people for like concept. And I have people for music. That, that's the main things I do have at the moment, which I'm happy about. It means I'm doing good on collecting the team <laughs> that I can actually rely on. But right now it's kind of throwing off hiring them at the moment because of the coding phase. The least I can do is get concept art for characters. That at least helps. I mean, I was trying to change the dialogue color, but I forgot that black is, I put black as the text inside of my code. So it's going to say black and blue, even though I changed, changed it outside. So I have to go back into my code and can change it. <laughs> I figured this out after a while. <laughs> there we go. I figured it out. <laughs>
But then again, I guess it probably would have been better to change it to to blue. Nah, change it to white. I feel like white is more a selective thing. Hmm, maybe I will have like a background. I kind of wanted like a transparent UI just so you guys can see the full like backside of the character of the most Rose because you know like I said it's an etchy game so obviously etchy things are gonna be in it <laughs> or you know it'd be like a cool pose that they're in and it's just like dude I can't just pass this up like this <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about how things are going so far and how much I've committed to this. Like I barely ever commit to most things because I have ADHD, but this is, this has been fine. I've been finding motivation to keep carrying on. Like I said, I, I'll be doing a lot more dev logs as long as I'm not busy. Like I said, this is a hobby and I'm enjoying this hobby. Am I getting paid for this hobby? No. <laughs> this is just a fun side project that I'm losing money on. <laughs> okay, so now I should be able to select, right? Okay, so yeah, I'm able to select now and it goes to moves. Not sure how far I, I'm in. I turned these on just to see what would happen if I do turn them on. I think somewhere along the line, Wait, is this the one where I'm trying to figure out the... Um, the moves popping up? The actual move names popping up? I think so. Oh, I think I do remember this. There was an issue here. I don't remember what it was, but there definitely is an issue here. Now you guys get to see like all my mistakes I clear up and can make easily, <laughs> especially if I'm like super focused. I'm sure a lot of game dips go through this. Ah, okay. Move details. Wait, no? Oh, that did I was trying to get that to show up. That's what it was. I was trying to get the PP and typing to show up because those weren't showing up at first. So I, I thought I did something wrong and yeah, I, I still had this as something else instead of move move details to get the details of the move. Makes sense. Now I am putting how many times I can use the ability for this code. Oh no, this is this one is mostly showing the the move text. So it's basically like this. So I'm gonna go back just a little bit. This one's actually pretty interesting. That little line there is basically showing you that one of the move slots is empty. This is basically showing like all the moves that I have. So it'll be like if I have the flame kick or flame wheel, something like that, I have like three abilities one is empty this line is going to show up in that empty slot and i also have the moves based names showing up too for the monster girls that i have them selected towards so i think it's tigora no it's, i think it's Tyma that's going to show up it should be Tyma. If I've been paying attention <laughs> and with that, she'll have like three different moves that I uh, equip to her later on. Well, 
earlier. Yeah. So now you guys can see that she has arm throw, back kick. I don't know what that other one was. Oh, flame claw. Yeah. You know, no, things like that. Now you guys can see those moves instead of just like move one. Now I'm just adjusting everything to the left. And I think soon it starts coming up to where I start fixing the PP mistake that I made. I have learned shortcuts now, like control D actually duplicates codes now. I passively been learning that. Okay, so now I'm making the arrow keys, well, the arrow selections for the moves. Cause I made I made the selectors for um, for fight and run for it to go up and down. Now I gotta make the codes for when I'm on selecting moves. It was interesting to get like the minus equal to plus equal like codings. Cause it's like if it's if it's going down, it's inside of the negatives. If it's going up, it's inside of the positives. So it's basically set up for how my controller is acting too. I hope I could change Z. Uh, hope I can add enter to Z. If I change this by mistake, I, I, I undo that very quickly <laughs> because I'm thinking of a different code that I'm pushing in. Yeah, yeah, there it is, the PP mistake. So here, here it's going to begin because this is supposed to change. And funny enough, the game doesn't even recognize it either, because it's saying PP. I didn't catch on to that. I, I let the game fix it for me, which was a stupid move, because I don't know what the game could have added. I have to go back and look at that. And also these devlogs actually help me catch my mistakes or if anybody else see a mistake that I made and wants to help fix stuff or want to help me like code anything, you know, with tips. Selectors working, but <laughs> the moves aren't working, are they? Yeah, it's showing up as PP slash, isn't it? Stupid. <laughs> Typing works though. <laughs> Then I saw, well, maybe I typed something wrong. I'll just retype it. And here goes my stupid self realizing, dude, it's mana. It's, it's not PP, it's mana. So I also go into like the actual, yeah, here we go. I start deleting S's and thinking that's gonna work too. It technically did, it shows that. <laughs> But that's not what we're after. <laughs> Do you realize it? Haha! -ha, here we go. <laughs> I actually figured out that it was mana, so now I start changing everything. <laughs> 
that, that was that's what it actually took most of the time was trying to figure that out before I start getting right back into coding so now it's mana and all the points are showing up which is great now I feel accomplished but no we're not done yet we still have lots more to do oh wait I think we are done Oh, I, I might have. <laughs> okay, good thing uh, that I did record this and just not upload just a normal video. Actually, this video is 22 minutes long. <laughs> good thing I just didn't scrap it, turn it off, and just let it play. That would have been that would have been a oopsie, you know. <laughs> I figured out how to find stopping points inside of uh, Sony Vegas when I do do the whole velocity increase thing. To where it goes faster i i just didn't know that it makes several checkpoints so i went to the latest checkpoint and stopped it down here so now i know i didn't have to 5.5 it. i just could have left it at five times and it would have been fine i'm stupid anyway hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one until then Peace out.